So in the medical context, what I would call medical gaslighting is, you know, a healthcare provider encountering a, a patient who's reporting symptoms and running tests and coming up with nothing and saying, you know, there's nothing wrong with you or, you know, minimizing those symptoms, calling them just daily aches and pains of normal living or just stress because you're a, you know, overworked mother or just, you know, normal menstrual pain as opposed to, you know, really severe pelvic pain that needs to be investigated. I think there's many ways that women tend to be gaslit, but I do think that one, you know, big way is this kind of psychologizing of symptoms and, and saying it's stress or depression or anxiety. And I think for a lot of women, that's, you know, really confusing <laughs> to encounter that when you're reporting physical symptoms. One of the things that became very clear in my research, kind of tracing the, the medical history, as I mentioned, is, is that this concept of hysteria has been a kind of a part of medicine for a really long time. And so, you know, back in ancient Greek times, it was this disorder that was thought to be caused by a wandering womb roving about the body. And then in Victorian times, it was kind of shifted to be seen as a nervous system disorder. And then in the 20th century, there was a final shift to seeing it as a psychological problem. So, you know, physical symptoms caused by a mental illness. And I think that that is really a big reason that women specifically so often encounter this kind of medical gaslighting. When patients aren't being told, you know, it's just stress or given a sort of loose diagnosis of depression that doesn't really make sense, you know, there's terms like functional or medically unexplained symptoms that are all sort of terms that just mean that these are symptoms that we don't have observable cause for. So in other words, they're just symptoms that medicine has yet to fully explain. And I think that the big problem is that medicine has for so long sort of treated unexplained symptoms in women as adequately explained by their psychology. And so they haven't done the investigation to actually figure out what the root causes are. And so I think that, you know, not only does this hurt individual women on when they go into the doctor's office often, but it's also created this real problematic catch-22 where a lot of syndromes that affect women disproportionately have been really neglected in the research realm because they're assumed to be psychosomatic. So things like fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome, vulvodynia, a lot of these really quite common disorders have gotten very few research dollars and really have remained very marginalized within mainstream medicine. I would argue largely because they're you know, unexplained symptoms that <laughs> affect women and are just seen as all in your head.